Hi, y'all making pelican boners. No, that doesn't sound right. I'm gonna try that again. Hi, y'all making folks. Today, we're going mushroom hunting. I've never been mushroom hunting before, but thankfully I have this here pocket guide to mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a gander at this and see what we're doing. Yeah, we'll go out in the woods and see if we can't find some delicious wild mushrooms or see if we can't identify stuff, make sure we don't eat any poisonous ones or magic mushrooms. And yeah, I'm gonna check out this book and see how it's done. All right, well, I looked at the book and Apparently you don't need one of these to go mushroom hunting, which is kind of disappointing. But make sure you stick around, because after we finish mushroom hunting, we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna slap some brand new optics on that brand new gun, and we're gonna run a few rounds through it and uh, see if we can't sight it in and blow up some stuff. But uh, yeah, let's go get some mushrooms. All right, folks, well, we're out at my dad's farm, and uh, you know, by we, I mean me and you guys. And like I said, I've never been mushroom hunting before, never tried to really identify any mushrooms, but uh, my boy Tofield put out a video not too long ago about him going to get some oyster mushrooms and man I was like that looks awesome figured I'd give it a shot I had actually bought this book a while back before that just because I wanted to try and identify some and never got around to it but uh I'd say he kind of inspired me so uh if you want to check that out somebody who actually knows a little bit about what they're doing I'll leave a link to that video and his channel in the description below make sure you go check that out we got this book it's pretty cool let me give you a little gander at it well it's upside down pictures of mushrooms and different things and such and all kind of descriptions and whether they're poisonous or not because you know we don't want to die because that would it's just stupid it actually rained the last couple days so it still should still be pretty moist in here and I know I do know that mushrooms like moisture and dampness and Thing. So we're gonna have to go find some dead trees or something. I think they got some hardwood. Not that I know if that matters or not. I don't know. We'll try and figure something out. All right, folks. Well, we found our first mushroom uh, on this dead stick that was laying around that area right there. These little guys. I'm trying to figure out what in the world they are. So according to this thing, the first thing you're supposed to do is go to this front of this thing. They got these silhouettes. You find one that looks similar to it. So like that. And then it says what it is, and then you go in here and look at these pretty pictures and try to identify it. The problem is, is there's about three different mushrooms in this book that look pretty similar to this thing, so I'm not sure which one it is. The good thing is, all three of those that look like it aren't poisonous. But um, these are kind of small, so I don't think we're going to eat them anyway. Plus, I, I must admit, I am a little nervous. Yeah. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. It can either be... Hold on, let me get to it. So I'm kind of thinking it's one of these three. Either the turkey tail mushroom, eh, it looks like it could be maybe some, some young ones, or this one here probably looks the closest, this mustard yellow polypore. I think that's probably the one. And then this one right here, the false turkey tail mushroom, which again, you know, maybe these are just young and don't look quite like it. I don't know, but I think we're just gonna leave it alone. But anyway, you can look in this pictures right here, it tells you a page number and then you go to the back and read a little bit more on it. Let me try looking at that and see if it, it'll help us identify this thing anymore and I'll get right back at you. Right, well, reading it didn't, uh, didn't help a whole lot. But since we can't identify it 100%, even though all the ones that it could be are not poisonous, well, I'm not willing to die today. Not for a mushroom, so. Moving on! Well, I found these little guys growing under these leaves or through these leaves on the bottom of the on the forest floor but um kind of too small to even worry about so i'm not even gonna worry about them but if y'all see or if y'all recognize any of the mushrooms that i come across and you know what they are and i'm get it completely wrong or just you know don't take the time to figure it out leave that in the comments below because i am very curious eventually you know i'm gonna be an expert at this you know, i'm gonna watch some youtube videos and And the next contestant on Name That Mushroom. All right, guys, well, we ain't but a couple feet away from, well, the last two that I showed you. So uh, I didn't, I mean, I knew there would be a lot of mushrooms. I didn't realize how many different kind of mushrooms they are just in this little area. They also have ugh, whatever that fungus is, but I don't want to mess with that. I'm trying to find some mushrooms that we can eat. And these look very similar. These look very similar to uh, my buddy Tofio uh, getting on his Instagram page, which... I'll leave that in the link below too if you want to go check that out. I'm going to look these up real quick because I think these might be edible. But you know, I don't know what I'm doing. So, All right, folks, upon further investigation in this little book and, uh, you know, Google, I'm pretty sure these are wood ears or tree ears, depending on what you want to call it, which are edible, nutritious, and delicious. 
So I'm gonna run back to the uh, to the house, get a well, I'm gonna run back to my Jeep and go get a Ziploc, and we're gonna collect some of these things, and then we're gonna confirm once again that they are what I think they are. Make sure we don't die or hallucinate or worse. With I don't know what could be worse. So yeah, let me go get a bag, and I'm gonna collect as many as I can, and then we will continue on our hunt for the mushroom. All right, we're back. I got my knife and my Ziploc. So what we're gonna try and do is cut these off without taking the roots off, just in case, you know, we survive eating these things. And we want more, we know we can always come back and get them. Cause they'll grow right back where the roots are. Ooh, they feel real weird. They feel like jelly or some kind of fleshy stuff. Couple big juicy ones there. All right, moving on. All right, here we go, folks, our next victim. We're gonna cut this guy down here so we can take a better look at him. We need to see the underneath to be able to identify him. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be poisonous. I have a feeling. All right, folks, I believe we have identified this mushroom as the cleft foot amanita. That guy right there and this guy looks pretty similar to me. And if you see this little X right there, I don't know if you see that little X in the corner, that means you eat this, you die. So we're gonna leave that one right there and uh, move on to the next one. Let's check this one out. This thing is freaking gorgeous. Check out the colors on this thing. Get a good look, try and get a good look at the underneath. This one ought to be a little bit easier to identify because it has some pretty distinguishable uh, characteristics. So if that don't look like it, I don't know what does. That is perfect. So according to this, it is an American Caesar's mushroom, which says it's not poisonous, but it says eat with caution. Well, until we do some further research and make absolutely sure, we're just gonna leave that bad boy there. I'm gonna take some more pictures of it and, uh, and we're gonna do a whole lot of research. And then maybe one day we can come back with another video and actually eat these things. Moving on. More mushrooms. All right guys, check this out. In this one area, we got this big dead tree right here and a couple other things. We have boo coo different mushrooms. Check this out. Got these right here. Just under that, we got these all right there. Whatever that guy is, or was, we got a little discombobulated, but there's more all right there. We got these little ones right there. Not to mention, Dim's ones. Right in. They everywhere. And some more. Right there. Well, we didn't finish mushroom hunting a few hours ago. Ate a little bit of lunch and before we get to shooting the old pew pew, uh, my pop's got a tree in the pond that he wants to get removed. So we grabbed a backhoe right back there and get my brother Reed. Y'all should remember him from previous videos. We're just gonna yank this tree out of the pond and yeah.
All right, now that all the farm work's done, it's time to sight in the old pew pew. We got, uh, I just put, as you can see, different from the beginning of the video, I put the, uh, got the red dot sight right there up front and a magnifier right there behind it. So we gotta get this thing sighted in before we could uh, have some real fun and shoot some different kind of targets and such. So I don't know if you can see it way down there at the end in that wood pile, we got our target set up. Got a tripod to rest it on. Let's get down to it. Almost forgot ear protection. Remember, on Pelican Bone Outdoors, we like to practice safety second. Whoo! That's a little louder than a 22, I'd say. Let's go see if we even hit anything. Well guys, this thing might be a little bit further off than we thought. Didn't hit not a narrow one on the target. Gonna need some adjustments. All right, well, we're not exactly on target, but I think we're pretty close. But now that we got it close enough, I think it's time to move on to some fun stuff. Those top three about how close, you know, I got. So that's, yeah, that's close enough. But now for my next trick, hopefully these are gonna be exploding targets. What I did was I took some valves that you usually fill tires with, plugged it in the caps, filled these bad boys up with air. You see them bulging at the tops right there. You know what I'm saying? And we got our GoPro down here and I'm having my phone right there. And we're gonna put that in slow-mo. Just like I did when I shot my 22 and sighted that in. If you haven't seen that video, stick around to the end and I'll, I'll put that up so you can just click on it and check it out. But here's a little clip. Welcome back. All right, I got a box right here. We're just gonna stab these little stems right in there like so. And there we go. Well, I thought I was missing it the entire time, but it looks like, well, it looks like I hit pretty much, if not every time, pretty close to it. So uh, it just didn't explode like I, like I thought it would, obviously. So I unloaded a whole bunch on there, but the bottle is dead there. That is that is for sure. So this time, I'm gonna try to pump this one up a little bit more with air, but we got some uh, red liquid, so hopefully it'll spew. Hopefully this one will give us some uh, some visual effects so we know if we hit it or not. We're gonna go pump this bad boy full of air. This one should be interesting. You're supposed to do it with those thin water bottles that you get at Walmart or whatever, the cheap ones, but uh, the stems that I got, the valves, they were too big. I bought the, t the ones that were too big. I should've got the smaller one. To use in those bottles, because those are real thin, so you fill them up with a little bit of air, you hit them, you can hit them with a slingshot and they explode, but I guess these bottles are a little tougher. So we got this one uh, pump, plumb full of air and it's got some Gatorade in it, so we're gonna try and shoot this before any air leaks out. See if we can't get a more magnificent display. And now for the grand finale, folks, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna take out this box because I heard him talking bad about my mama and nobody talks bad about my mama. Pelican Bone Outdoors does not condone any acts of violence. All right, well, I'm gonna shoot these just, you know, like I know what I'm doing or something. Well, that was a few dollars in rounds, so uh, now I gotta pick up all my mess. All right, folks, well, I gotta pick up my mess and then head on back to my house, which is about an hour and a half away. So if you wanna see that video where I shot my 22 at a bunch of stuff in slow-mo similar to this one, check out this video right there. If not, maybe you'll like this one. YouTube says you'll love it. Well, if you're new to the channel and you like these sort of videos and you don't wanna miss any in the future, just click on this logo right, right here, or right, right, somewhere, right, right there. Yeah, there it is.